Today I will talk all about God of War Ragnarok, the new big PlayStation exclusive of the year out now on PS4 and PS5 developed by Santa Monica Studio and published by Sony. This is a direct continuation of the story that we got to know in the previous God of War game and I know that I have been warming up lately with that game leading up to the release of Ragnarok. I've been playing that a whole lot and now from having played Ragnarok enough to get a pretty good first impression I can already tell you this much. If you happen to love the fluid combat and the storytelling from the previous game, you are in for a treat with this one. You will not be disappointed with what this new entry has to offer. This video is kindly sponsored by PlayStation. Thank you so much for providing the review code and also sending over some packages that I'm gonna open in this video later on. We continue to follow Kratos and Atreus in this arguably new contender to a Game of the Year award in this absolute AAA experience set in a Norse environment. You have probably already seen some of the first reviews dropped for this game, most of them smacking 10s and 9s all over it already, calling it a cinematic masterpiece among other things. And here are five things that I think you should know before you pick this game up. Number one. Three years has passed since the 2018 game and Kratos' son Atreus is now a teenager and he's grown a lot, not only physically but mentally as well. This time around he's much more confident than how we got to know him at first and he is much more involved now in combat, puzzle solving and as a crucial story character in general. Fimble Winter is coming and they have to travel to each of the nine holes for answers before a war will literally end the world. You also get access to a story recap on the title screen to get you up to speed on the story so far. Convenient stuff. The prophecies say Fimble Winter leads to Ragnarok. Whatever Loki's supposed to be doing, he's supposed to be doing it now. Number two. Just like in the previous entry, Ragnarok will also be played as one long singular shot, like a camera is constantly following you, there's no interruption of the storytelling this way. And this adds incredibly much to the immersion of the game, leaving you with a feeling you were there along with them all the way from start to end. So the story is always told in a natural flowy way and seamless as you play. Can I come in? I have me. Number three, the graphics. The graphics looks absolutely stellar. On my 4K television, on my PS5, the game has two graphical modes, performance mode and quality mode. And switching between them, from what I saw, I think performance mode is what feels the best to me. Voice acting is also stellar. Animations are the best of this generation the light, the color, the contrast, the setting, the Norse setting, I'm loving it. Guys, I have a side note actually. I know people have taken time off of work because of this release. Looking at you Robert on Twitter and someone that the Shaman works with also mysteriously ill today. Number four. Like I said, the game has a performance mode and a quality mode. Performance mode is if you want a higher frame rate more than anything, which I said is my preference. But Ragnarok also has some of the best accessibility options I have ever seen in a video game, and I hope a lot of game studios take note of this. I can't praise this enough. They have settings for people that are colorblind, people that play with one hand, the hearing impaired, and so much more. Like for example, I like to scale up the font size because currently when I'm sitting on my couch I find some texts to be too small. And you can actually also make all your enemies red. It's a whole thing. Accessibility is just top notch in this game. Take note of this, everyone. That can help. Did something good over on the right? There we go. Come on. Number five. 
The combat is so incredibly tight and good. Satisfying is the word I want to use for this combat. This is what gets me the most hyped up. The actual fluidity and goodness of the combat, if that makes sense. The controls are very similar to the previous game. So if you're coming straight from the 2018 game, you know exactly how you play this game, sort of. You block, you roll, you parry, you throw your axe, you fight some, you recall your axe, and you have the Blades of Chaos, and they are amazing. Your axe has ice abilities, and your Blades of Chaos has fire abilities, which also sometimes goes into the puzzle solving of the environment. And you have skill trees that you can build upon to get even more fun combat skills to your arsenal, separated into technique, ranged, and melee styles. This game is a blast to play. I have played it all day already and I can't wait to dip more back into it. This really feels like a high budget game and I play a lot of games. I play a lot of games that are low budget also and sometimes I often tend to like those as well I mean but this time the animations, the storytelling, the combat, how it feels when you actually play it. I feel like that is crucial. The feeling that you feel, <laughs> your feelings are crucial, basically. Uh, God of War provides all of this and I feel like this is a big contender for Game of the Year. Now the year is not over yet for me at least. And you know, I will do my game of the year video later, as I usually do in around December, I think. But I have a feeling that this will be up there because of the emotional story and the interaction between this father and son. And I mean, Kratos, he strikes me as a guy that just wants to be left alone. He just wants some peace and quiet. He's not really a violent guy. It's just that he's so unlucky with his environment and his destiny, I feel like. And he just want to raise his son. He loves his son more than anything in the world. And their interaction, it can sometimes seem like he's being harsh on his son, but I get where he's coming from. He wants his son to be a strong, independent guy that can fend for himself when he grows up. And the Norse mythology stuff, uh, excellent. I have met Thor and Odin, and you meet them pretty early on, so that is no spoiler. I'm just looking forward to seeing how the story evolves into, you know, leading up to the war, and it's just so exciting. <laughs> And I have a few packages, guys. They are from Sony. Let's check out what they sent me. Ow. Look at this, guys. How beautiful is that? Oh. Beautiful box. Oops. Oh my freaking god, guys. Look at this. It's a God of War Ragnarok PS5 controller. Guys, limited edition dual sense. Look at that. That's so beautiful with the color. I'm loving the color. What is this, purple or blue? <laughs> I think it's purple. Oh, it's so good. I'm loving the controller now. <laughs> that is excellent. Next up, we have. Let me tidy up a bit. Okay, so here we have a God of War something t shirt. Thank you, Sony. And it has God of War on the sleeve and on the label. I'm so gonna give that to Isha, man. Next up. Oh! <laughs> so cute, guys. Look at this thing. It's the hammer. That is freaking amazing, guys. <laughs> now I can make God of War ice cubes. Now, what is this? God of War mug. Gotta have my coffee. Next up. Keychain sort of thing. That's pretty good. Actual keychain. This is quite the package that they're sending over to me. I am honored. Oh, my next journal. This is so my next journal. Wanna see my actual journal right now? Like, this is my script book. This is how I make YouTube videos, guys. Mm-hmm. So this is gonna be my next one. Journal. Oh, I'm liking that. That felt good. What kind of budget did they have? God of War stickers. Let's see. Yes. Have some fun with that. Daddy. Cute. How about that? <clears throat> That's the first page to my new journal. Did we go over everything now? 
I have another package actually. <sighs> One more. Oh, and this is even bigger. Oh my god, of war. Oh, how do I even? Oh. Oh. I think I'm gonna have to zoom the camera out. What is happening right now? It's just so big. So here's the back side of it. Apparently some goodies inside. It's a chest. Okay, okay, guys, I get it. Look. At the okay, <laughs> sorry. Let's do that one more time, guys. Look at this. It's just so big. But look how cute. This is resembling the doors that Atreus are opening throughout the game. Oh yeah, I have seen this online actually. Figurines. Oh my. God of war. It's a hammer, guys. It's the real thing. Wow, the craftsmanship on this actually has some weight to it, too. Quite the packaging. <sighs> guys, I'm in shock. Thank you, PlayStation, for sending over all of these things. I mean. A PlayStation 5 controller, these cute figurines, the dice, the steel hook, the mug, the keychain, the t-shirt, all of the things. So many things. <laughs> Guys, I hope you are enjoying Ragnarok as I am right now. It is out now on PS4 and PS5. Highly recommend it. Thank you, Sony, for sponsoring this video. I will be playing it more. I will have a sip of coffee from this. Here is Snurre. He has a Norse name, actually. Snurre. <laughs> a Viking name. And me being from Norway and all of that. Norse mythology stuff going on. Highly recommend this game, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if this is your first time on my channel, hit that subscribe button hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Follow me on Instagram and join the Discord. <laughs> and I will see you guys later. Pussy. Now yeah.